News has learned if mass arrests happen at the Democratic National Convention, those taken into custody will be jailed in a warehouse owned by the city of Denver. Our investigator Rick Salinger discovered the location and got inside just today for an exclusive look. Protesters, uh, Rick, not happy with the setup. As you would imagine, Jim and Karen, they are not. This is a building filled with metal holding cells. We showed up at the facility unannounced today. The doors were wide open and we managed to shoot for several minutes until a Denver sheriff's captain asked us to leave. The newly created lockup is inside a warehouse on the northeast side of Denver. Inside are dozens of metal cages. They are made out of chain link fence material and are topped by rolls of barbed wire. Our presence here was not authorized nor welcomed. And this, is a, this is a secure environment, a secured area, so we're concerned about um, how that's going to be utilized by people who potentially are trying to be disruptive. In past conventions, mass arrests have taken place. With Denver's jails already overflowing, new space had to be created and officers trained. Each of these fenced-in areas is about five yards by five yards. There's a lock on the door. How long those arrested will be kept here is not known. A sign on the wall reads, warning, electric stun devices used in this facility. We showed our video to Adam Young and Zoe Williams, leaders of groups that plan to demonstrate during the convention. Very bare bones and also very reminiscent of a political prisoner camp or a concentration camp. I mean, that's how you treat cattle. And then you show the thing where it said, you know, stun guns and you just, I mean, just change the word gun for bolt. And I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a meat processing plant. The Sheriff's Department will not discuss the facility at this time. But we want to make sure that we've got our, our game plan set we want to make sure that uh, the entire procedure is laid out. All the personnel know what they're supposed to do. The plans were to keep this place a secret, at least for now. The American Civil Liberties Union says it will ask the city of Denver how prisoners will get access to food and water, bathrooms, telephones, plus medical care, and if there will be a place to meet with attorneys. And the protesters, Jim and Karen, have already given this place a name. They're calling it Gitmo on the Platte. All right. Thanks for